All right, now I promise you, the wise man said is my number one favorite. Okay, if you have not seen the video on the perfect world where I said that was my number one favorite, then go with this one. This is my number one favorite book. It's won 10 awards, yeah, come on, yeah. And I love this story. See, this is a story, I tell you, and then you tell me, even just this much will uh, catch you. So the story is about an 80 year old billionaire. You know what it is to be a billionaire? You have everything. You have the money, you have the power, you have the connections, uh, you own everything. You're the world. Okay, name it, you have it. Think it, you have it. So he's an 80 year old billionaire who feels, yeah, I was most alive. I was happiest. I was at my best when I had nothing. You know, when you have nothing, you also have nothing to lose. So you can be yourself. You can push yourself to do things which you would otherwise be cautious about. You would take risks that you wouldn't do if you were sitting on a billion dollars to lose. So the guy says, look, I'm going to die anyways. Okay. But once more in life, I want to touch that freedom. I want to touch that place where I can be myself and I get two hoots about what I'll gain and what I'll lose. So what he does is for 11 months a year, he goes on on an adventure. He keeps his name behind. He keeps his possessions behind everything. No identity, no money. He sets out into the world to go on an adventure. And he tells his secretary, if I don't come back in 11 months, write me off as dead. So the book is actually his diary where he writes of his adventures. It's a collection of 13 short stories of people he met, of things he did and they are so unique. Actually, if you read them, these are normal stories but the meaning he gives it, the twist he gives it, the lens you look at it from, hey, an old billionaire is now participating in normal life well, that exaggerates it to an extraordinary level. And you know, the beautiful thing is, these are Zen-like stories. These are everyday stories. But the meaning that he gives it from his position. See, life is the meaning you give it. Whether it's sad, whether it's beautiful, whether it's magical, whether it's full of despair, is the meaning that you give it. And the meanings at the end of every story is my point of transformation. I tell you, as I wrote the book and today, as I read it as well, I do not look at anything as normal. Everything is exaggerated and extraordinary. I look at it from the lens of Sammy. I look at it as how would he find this? What would he think about it? How would he meet this person? And how would I behave if I had nothing to lose. If I have only kept everything on the side, what you'll take away from me, I have kept it aside. With what dare, with what passion and with what connection would I live life? I tell you, these stories are the cutest stories in the whole world. Um, I would make this web series as well. You know, I would really have liked uh, Mr. Bachchan to Mr. Amitabh Bachchan to play uh, The Wise Man Said. Uh, and I wish him good health that he should recover and go on, you know, like a miraculous uh, health recovery journey so he can also participate in the adventures of the world. Uh, I think you have to tell me also, who do you think would uh, play the part? I think Morgan Freeman, uh, Keanu Reeves, uh, tell me some more. Yeah, uh, people who could play the part to bring the story to life. But anyhow, before the movie or the web series is made, I would highly recommend you read the book. It'll give you a whole different lens, a beautiful, you know, interpretation towards your own life. And I think if the meaning can change, your life will change. <laughs>